So let's just get started then with today's question here on quadratics. Now this question here, if we're being honest, is really quite easy. Um, you know, it's just a basic bit of completing a square. And then just a quick follow on here for a couple of extra marks, right? So let's just get started then with part A here. Now for part A then, all we're doing here is just completing the square, right? And in this case here, the coefficient of x squared is just 1, so it really is quite easy. So completing the square here, what I get then for f of x here is the following. I have b here, so I'm going to get x minus 2. We square this bracket here. We square this number and take the negative of that, so I get minus 4. Don't forget the plus 5 here as well, right? And then if we simplify this here, what we get then is x minus 2, all squared, minus 4 plus 5. We get plus 1 there. Bosh, two marks in the bag, nice and easy. We're then told that the curve with equation y equals f of x meets the y-axis at the point p and has a minimum turning point at the point q. So for part b then, we want to write down the following coordinates here. So for b part 1 then, b part 1 here, nice and easy then, the coordinates of p here is for the y-intercept then. So in that case here, it's just going to simply be 0, 5, right? If x equals 0, we just get f of x equals 5 here. So p has coordinates of 0, Five, nice and easy. And then finally, for the very last part here of B, so that's B part two then, we want to find the coordinates of Q. So for the coordinates of Q then, that is the minimum turning point. So what we do here is we look at our completed square form that just simply gives us the coordinates of Q, right? So we flip this sign here. So if that's X minus two, then in this case here, the X coordinate is positive two. And this here gives us the Y coordinate. So what I get then for Q here, is just simply 2, 1 there, okay? And there we go then. So nice and easy, that gives the solution to today's question.